Hey Taurus, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for July 19th to the 20th of 2023. All right, let's get started with an oracle card message for Taurus. Next 48 hours for Taurus. Just your entertainment. Ivy, longevity. Rose, purity. Overall energy is haunted house, suspicion. So you are right to be suspicious of someone, especially someone you've known for a long time. I feel like someone's putting on a show for you. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like you got someone, you could be entertained by someone right now. Maybe they're very funny to you or they've just, you've always known them to be very funny, very entertaining, or you just had some good laughs with this person. Maybe you went out to the movies with them or something recently, or all of a sudden someone's being nice or whatever, but you're very suspicious of them. You already kind of side-eyeing this person. You're trying to gauge if their intentions are pure. Yeah, you just, you don't trust someone, even though they haven't really shown you anything. And your suspicions are correct. Now, let me, try, I'm trying to get to Rose. Where is that? Bro. Okay, here we go. Make the most of an opportunity as it may not linger. Speak the truth. It will be a far gentler way to help a friend than spinning a fairy tale. Be honest with yourself and learn to cultivate what you find difficult in life just as much as what you are good at and what you enjoy. So because entertainment is about having a good laugh, having fun, and you want those good times to last, right? With longevity, you're trying to cling to those. Enjoy them. But I feel like you know, you know something's kind of, mm. you know something's kind of, mm. when roses comes into your reading, it is an urgent call to look at everything for what it truly is, to take a pure, unadulterated view of the current situation, to see the good, the beautiful, the delicate, alongside the hidden, the daring, and the dangerous with a level head. It is a reminder not to get caught up in all the glitz and glamour of life whilst disregarding the flip side. Roses have thorns to protect the beautiful petal so that no one gets too close while smelling their delicate scent. Unfortunately, something is happening in your life right now, probably a relationship where you can only smell the roses or see it through rose tinted glasses. This may even be related to a close family member. So this can go for family, friend, work, love, put it where it goes for you. The purity of your love for this person is what drives you to protect or help them, but you cannot ignore the underlying pitfalls of the situation. Your best bet is to help them cope with the thorns of life rather than avoid them at all costs. All right, so let's get into the tarot for Taurus. July 19th to the 20th of 2023 for Taurus. Next 48 hours. I don't know why I just got um, someone putting mayo on bread. I specifically heard mayo sandwich, <laughs> but I, I saw someone putting mayo on bread. A very thin layer. Eight of cups walking away. I keep zeroing in on the fact that she's smoking. So you may just be putting one in the air for this person. You're like, I'm over this. <laughs> Ten of pentacles. So this could be family or work. Four of cups. Yeah, you're no longer interested. You just, you just, uh, there's something that you probably didn't see or didn't want to see about the situation though. Cause I'm getting like a, a little sister energy. So this is your little sister, a little brother, a little cousin. And you don't want to see the bad in this person. I just feel like you don't want to see the bad in this person. You want to see the innocence in the situation. The hermit Virgo. For wands. This could be someone you live with or work with. Overall energy is the Knight of Pentacles. 
I keep getting it's a family member or a little cousin, but it doesn't have to be. It just be someone you see that way. Um, you know you got to walk away from this situation, just point blank. I feel like you tried to fix it. You tried to work on it with the over energy being the Knight of Pentacles. But I feel like this person's either they joke around, they play too much, or they just want to have fun. They're not trying to really grow up. Maybe this person works from home or you do. I just feel like someone's refusing to see something, to see someone else's side to the situation or to see... Hmm. Someone's re refusing to look within themselves, do some deep introspection. Because the Hermit and the Four of Wands makes me think that someone's staying in the house a lot or they work from home or someone's refusing to look within. So let me clarify. Or the family's not seeing something. Someone's not seeing something or they're refusing to. Someone could be lying about their routine as well. Clarifying the Eight of Cups, the Three of Swords. Yeah, it hurts to walk away, but it must be done. Four of Swords. Yeah, so that someone can rest, recover, and heal. Someone has to walk away and block someone out, rest, recover, and heal. It may hurt to be the one to walk away. Someone could be walking away from you either way. It's, it has to be done. Clarifying the Ten of Pentacles, the Hangman. Uh, Pisces, Scorpio energy, seeing another side to the situation when it comes to work and someone's legacy. Clarifying the Four of Cups, the Ace of Cups. Yeah, someone was not seeing, refusing to see this Ace of Pentacles. I, I'm sorry, did I say Ace of Cups? I meant to say Ace of Pentacles. Clarifying the Four of Cups. Nine of Swords, because of someone's anxiety, worry, or depression, or sleepless nights, because someone was full of anxiety, or restlessness, or whatever the Nine of Swords is for you, I feel like someone stays up all night. There's someone here who lies about their routine. They're like, yeah, I go to bed early, I get up at six, I do X, Y, Z, but for some reason, my I'm failing, or my grades aren't good, or I can't get to work early, or... I can't get my work done because they're not going to sleep at night. Someone's lying. Someone could stay up all night playing video games or eating or watching TV or whatever. Someone's not getting any sleep or rest. Someone needs to walk away from a situation that's hurting them so that they can rest, heal, and recover because there is an opportunity here. It could be a new job. It could be a pay raise, promotion, or bonus. It's some type of Ace of Pentacles here. A financial offer is being given, but someone's either not seeing it because they're not getting any sleep or rest or healing their mind or body or because they don't want to see it because they're too occupied and stressed out by another situation. Someone's going to miss this opportunity. This is going to become a missed opportunity if someone does not walk away from a situation that hurts them. Yeah. Someone has to walk away from a situation and heal and rest in order to get this opportunity or it will be missed. Clarifying the hermit is the chariot, cancer. Yeah, you have to do some deep introspection. Your, your inner truth, you know, because the hermit is about deep introspection and trusting yourself. You already know you need to move. There could be a Virgo or cancer involved. And yeah, we have the hermit clarifying the hermit. So that's double confirmation. Or someone needs to get out the house as well. Because <laughs> the hermit is about being indoors a lot. Yeah, someone has to get out the house or get out of an area. Clarifying the Four of Wands is the Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus energy, Knight of Cups. That offer that someone's not seeing, there could be an offer to come live somewhere or work somewhere. I feel like it's an offer to work somewhere. Someone could be, like I said, in the house a lot or they're just focused on this one thing that's stressing them the hell out and it's only going to get worse. Or someone's just having a lot of fun and not really thinking about the future. Someone just wants to enjoy and hold on to all these fun things that are happening right now, but it's to the detriment of someone. Like I said, with this hermit energy, someone just wants to sit in the house, play video games, listen to music, and not face the outside world 
and it could be due to some trauma like someone could have i forgot what it's called when you're literally afraid of the outdoors like you're afraid of outside and that's due to ptsd because the nine swords for some of you not all of you but for some of you this could be like a ptsd related thing and that may be why someone that either isn't seeing these opportunities or is refusing to see these opportunities because someone doesn't want to go outside because there's some unresolved trauma maybe from the past or childhood six of cups this could be your child they could have anxiety and that may be why they don't want to get out of the house or they don't want to go to school or go to work. It's not because they're lazy. Because I'm not getting that someone here is lazy. I get that someone here has some type of trauma they need to heal with the three of swords and the nine of swords. So if this is your child or relative or family member or friend, it's not because they're lazy. It's because someone's like, they're either not getting any sleep. There's a lot of, it's due to heartbreak. Someone needs to like walk away and heal a situation. They need to rest. I don't know if this is you or someone you're dealing with. And the signs you could be dealing with, there's a lot of air here. So of course, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, the Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, the, the Chariot, Cancer, Hermit, Virgo, the Hangman, uh, Pisces, Scorpio. But of course, it could be any sign. I'm just calling out the major arcanas here. All right, so let me pull from this deck for Taurus. And this could be going, walking away from a family business to go chase their own dreams and make their own business. Someone could be afraid to leave a good job or a family business that's working them to death in order to pursue something like a work from home job where they can travel and have their own freedom and responsibilities. Maybe someone's really good at video games and they could be a Twitch streamer. You don't even got to get on camera, show your face, or someone wants to do something here. Because I keep zeroing in on video games because of the controller here, but it could be anything. Um, I just feel like someone feels as though they have to do what their family wants them to do or what someone else has planned out for their life or their legacy. Someone has someone's life planned out for them, and that person who they have their life planned out for is not interested in that. This person either has their own business idea or they want to work from home so they can travel. And I feel like that would be much more lucrative for someone here than to have them to work a job they don't want to work. I feel like this job could actually cause someone a lot of anxiety, but put it where it goes for you. Cause I said both sides, someone could just want to be in the house all day and not want to get out or do anything or work from outside of the house or do anything. And it could be the flip side. Maybe someone is working their ass off and they can't sleep and they have this other hobby they want to do that is very, it's much more beneficial for them that can actually move them forward in life. But they can't escape what someone else has planned out for them. But I'm getting up here that, yeah, someone wants to cling on to the good times here with entertainment and longevity. Someone just wants to play around and have fun. So it could be someone feels like, like their child is chasing a pipe dream, like, they don't want to all they want to do is play video games and they think they can make money from that they need to grow up but i mean in this day and age i mean you see twitch streamers and people on youtube make a lot of money from doing that but i feel like someone's afraid for their child to think that way or something like that it's something like that we have clothes gossip there could be a lot of gossip around the family or home Ro rose romance we have rose here twice so this could be in regards to love i'm not seeing a lot of love though i mean we have the knight of cups and the four wands the children and with six of cups and union mugwort intuition thyme courage Maybe someone feels like they're not going to meet anyone because all they do is work or sit in the house. Over orange is mustard faith, but someone has to have faith in themselves and trust themselves and not to be afraid of an opportunity here. Because I feel like at the center of this reading is the Ace of Pentacles. There is a stable and abundant new opportunity here. But someone is, again, either refusing to see it or they're not seeing it because of the Nine of Swords. Anxiety, worry, depression, sleepless nights. And this is all due to a heartbreaking situation that someone has to walk away from and heal from. And it could be in regards to family or work. I just feel like 
someone's being forced to stay in a job they hate or a relationship they hate because they feel like they have to or because it's stable but it's not making someone happy. But someone has to have the courage and faith, which is both here, courage and faith, ORG, to walk away from this situation and know that much better is coming. Your life is gonna be very comfortable for whoever this is, but the Hermit and the Four Wands is a very comfortable life. That's you being able to trust yourself as well with the Hermit and the Chariot moving forward. If someone has faith and trust themselves in doing this, it will work out for them. Just make sure you keep your routine and someone probably loves what they do or loves whatever this is that they want to chase. Because I wasn't, I honestly didn't see a lot of love here, like romance wise. Someone could be suspicious of a love offer because there could be gossip surrounding this. This could be about the next or something. But I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.